Welcome back everybody here with the Picture Perfect card box to store your gifts during your big day is Paigey. That's right. You know, so many people when they go to weddings, they're gift givers. They yep. go on the registry, they get the nice big present. It's like this big. Um, however, most bride and grooms <laughs> like little presents that fit just like yep. this in an yep. envelope. You know why? Because look at that. Can you see the thickness? It's got that, some money in there. It might have some money. That's we want right. to make sure we take care of these. And we <laughs> love when people bring these to weddings. I speak as a bride and a wedding planner. I used to be a wedding planner. People love those. What? So I we're going to make that. a place for them to go. I think it's genius. It's a beautiful box with memories uh, and photos and everything else. But obviously, like any box, you got to have six sides. So yes. that's where we start today, yep. right? We're going to focus on the four sides that are pretty. OK. We're going we're gonna to focus on the pretty. So these are four 8 by 10 frames. Uh, and you can see we put pictures in it. And if you were the bride and groom, I'd say pick stuff maybe from when you guys were kids or yes. your engagement. Because um, you won't have wedding pictures like we do here um, until the very end. Hey, right, so after. right. You can okay. do that for your, I don't know, anniversary. Or exactly. your commitment ceremony, then you can use So hand here. me an eight by ten. Okay. Perfect. I'll take this one. Now that one, I'm gonna have you work on. Okay. Take everything out. We can keep the uh, the glass in, Got but it. you do not need the matting because we're just gonna go straight eight by ten. Gotcha. And actually, if you wanted to use the matting, just keep it same all the way around, and you're fine. Okie dokie. Look at this cute couple. Oh, oh man. here you I go. Know those guys. Don't say. Do never I... gave me anything. That's there right. There you go. And just a pup. Oh, just a pup. Just you a look young exactly pup. the same. Well, this is my backside, and hopefully I look exactly the same. <laughs> it's actually right here on this deck. Exactly. Right. On this deck? On this deck, yes, because we're walking away. Aw, Paigey. So much fun. Okay, so put your pictures in. Okay. Put the, um, the backing back in. Okay. And secure it. And guess what? We're not going to need these. Easy peasy. We're not going to need these stands. So if you're, okay. if you're putting this up, the stand is great. We're not going to use it. So I just stand off. These guys are pretty easy to come off. Yep. And it doesn't matter off. because you're not going to really see inside, so you can make it kind of sloppy like that. Okay, and messy. very good. Yep, All right, so there. we're off to a good start. Okay. Now, how do we connect them? So we connect them. This is going to be our base. I'll talk about that in a sec. Okay. But when we're building a box, I have two more there. Um, we want to make sure that they line up in kind of an L shape. You can see that. Okay. Because if you do this, it's going to leave a weird corner. So you want to make sure that everyone goes around, kind of fits in, still makes a perfect gotcha, box, and it'll gotcha. be almost a 10 by 10. Gotcha, gotcha. Exactly. Just like this guy right here. It's like a house of cards, kind oh, of. And then go. we add add the glue okay. to that, but you want to make sure you have an L all the way around. May I? Should we? Yes, go ahead. <laughs> Write down that spine. We're asking each other questions. I, we are, but we not go. not the big one. Not the big question. No, those questions have been asked for both of us. Okay. There we go. So we just put it together like that. Okay. Keep going all the way around. I'll give you this guy. Okay. And I'll do the, I'll do the uh, oh, you so, want to go on that side? Yep, so um, go ahead and give me some glue there. You got it. So one thing that's really important is to make sure all the pictures are looking out. Yeah, <laughs> that's always an important idea. It really is. Okay, and then okay. we got this last guy here. Exactly. Right? As well and, as right here, yep. I think, right? If, I, mm -hmm. if my math is correct and my... Your math is correct. And is it on the pictures on the outside and... And facing up? And facing up. We're good, okay. we're good, we're good. Okay. So now, what you can get at your craft store or um, at a paint store, are, these are canvases, but they're actually made out of wood. So you can see those. All really that does, you could also get a, a piece of plywood. You put those together, and this becomes the base. So just give that a little glue around, okay. and then we add our base to that. Just like this. Yep, exactly. Beautiful. And we can let that one set up, move on to our next. Okay, very good, very good. Now so we got the see. top. We've got five sides done. Yep. We're going to move to the top. We've got to make a top. way to cover the top, but also allow for the cards to be able to be exactly. slipped in. So I have an 8 by 8 frame here. It has glass in it. We're going to ditch the glass. Okay. Uh, we will not need that because you're going to want the exactly what you said. We want the card to fall through. So okay. take the glass, there ditch you, that. You got it. Uh, this came with matting, which I actually used. I used this matting to oh. cut a little hole, and all I did was, in, with an X-Acto, with a craft knife, just cut out the size of a typical envelope. Go a little bit bigger, just in case you're gonna get lucky and get lots of money, I mean, cards. <laughs> <laughs> really, I mean, that's what the bride and groom was hoping for. So, um, you put that back, oh no, no, actually, we don't need this in at all, because this would block the cards from going in. So, I'll give that to you. Do we glue that guy in there? We or? glue this guy okay. in, yes. Okay. Very good. So. Along where the matting would lie right mm -hmm. in here? Okay, great. You're a very good gluer. You're like a, sh a Sioux crafter. Well. Instead of a Sioux I've shop. had a lot of practice. Uh, go quick. That's a, you want some more here? Yep, some more there. Well, just when I said I was good. <laughs> <laughs> then you put this inside. 
And if you don't have matting that's already in there, you can also use cardstock to make this happen. Great. I printed out the word cards for the bride and groom on top, but if you wanted to use a picture of you guys, you could as well. Nice. All right. Very, of, very nice. And, then and some glue more glue on for on top. Yep. And I noticed that you went eight by eight because obviously eight is one of the dimensions. Oh. Of, oh. Go on the inside. On the inside. Yep, here. thank you. One of the dimensions of these frames that you have. Oh, where are you? It's okay. Keep going. All the way around. Yes, so this is going to be a little smaller. It's actually going to look kind of like a lantern when you put this on. And this glues it into place. So guess what? You are not getting into it till the end of the night. You see that? That's right. Just a little something like this. Yes. Now, um, I love the little molding that we have. There's a little detail here on the bottom as this well. This is so much fun. I found flexible molding. Look at this stuff. Isn't this cool? This is actually made from rubber. So it'll go around if you're actually doing it for your house. It's great for um, things that aren't quite what a corners. Great detail. But all I did was cut it off and glue. Yeah. <laughs> My glue. Sorry, again. I was slacking. Could you just give me a little glue? Kind right of in the middle. Z all the way across. Oh, okay, gotcha. Yep. Or M's. That works too. You know, Matheson. M's. Yep, 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 yep. Okay. So all I'm doing, I cut two pieces at one size, two pieces at another, and you can see that just goes on. And it just glues on. It actually looks like wood. Paige, it's really pretty. But my question is this. So the cards are all going. In the end of the night, you're all happy. You're yep. married. Life is amazing. How do you get to your cards? Well, let's let's pretend. Let's put one in, see if it works. And it does. Ooh, that one had some stuff in there. <laughs> so, OK, here's a controversial part. So okay. a lot of brides, when I was a wedding planner, a lot of brides would want to check periodically, go and take the cards out. I say, no, don't do that. But you also have this at the front, so you don't want anybody sticking their paws in there when they're not supposed to. Wow. So I say glue it. They do have ones with locks. This is the inexpensive way to do it. Glue it, and then at the end of the night, just take a craft knife and go through that gluing that you did so wonderfully. That's great. It'll take it right off. You can put a picture on it and then keep it in your And that's another reason why hot glue is great for this because it's easy to kind of like pop off yep. at the end of it. Right? It is, it does yeah. not super secure. Great addition to any wedding. I am very impressed, Paigey. I love that. For full instructions, everybody, head over to hallmarkchannel.com. And I know something else that would make a great addition to any wedding. How about a beautiful new wedding gown? Oh, oh man, all of our ladies at home will have the opportunity to win either the wedding gown worn by Kelly Pickler on the set of Wedding at Graceland, along with an elegant handbag created by designer Judith Lieber, or the dress worn by Andrea Brooks from the movie In the Key of Love. Oh, my goodness, look at that dress. All you got to do is go to hallmarkchannel.com for your chance to win.